हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सर्कुलर दैट सी बी एस ई हैज पब्लिश टूडे इन दिस सर्कुलर द असेसमेंट ऑफ क्लास टेन एंड ट्वेल्व द स्ट्रक्चर इज डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल सो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द स्ट्रक्चर अबाउट द नेक्स्ट ईयर दैट इज the for the batch uh, 2022 or 21 22 session what will be their assessment structure structure for cbse class 10 and 12 students and most of the state board as they are also following the cbse uh, rules or norms so it will be also applicable or followed by many other states also so what is there in the assessment that part one part i discuss second part i'll assess how fair or how helpful this assessment structure will be for many students or who are the students who will not be satisfied by this assessment structure so the first part about the assessment structure so cbse has told there will be two terms like uh, if you remember few years back there will there was uh, so your um, comprehensive continuous and comprehensive assessment so in their formative assessment was there then uh, your summative assessment was there and most of the in class 10 the book was divided into two parts uh, fa1 sa1 like this the um, students were uh, giving the exam at the end of term 2 so a kind of similar structure cbsc has uh, followed and uh, cbsc has uh, uh, means uh, the target of this assessment uh, structure looks like that so cbsc has told that there will be two assessment term 1 and term 2 term 2 assessment will be basically it will be a multiple choice test and term 2 will be a theoretical test short questions and a long questions type uh, long answer type questions there will be now term 1 may be conducted in between november december and term 2 will be conducted in march uh, and april so in term 1 examination the multiple choice mcq type questions will also uh, be there will be ss uh, assertion and reasoning type questions case study based questions all these will be mcq there will be some external superintendent and supervisor they will come from uh, so the cbsc will send to school and in the school uh, with uh, covid rules and uh, regulation or if there are some um, relaxation of covid situation so page wise different uh, this exam will be conducted uh, in in certain phases uh, in term 1 and term 2 also in similar manner now this 50% syllabus which will be completed that will be based on mcq and term 2 for term 2 another 50% syllab the question will come from another 50% syllabus so whole book the students will not have to learn like your formative and summative essay 1 essay 2 like that and in case the covid situation is not improve or will not improve then if term 1 exam is conducted and term 2 exam could not be conducted then term 1 exam will have more weightage and term internal assessment will be considered like fa1 your formative assessment was there so here also similar internal examination will be there or project based marks may be there so in this fa means internal examination cbse will create one portal so after the test the teacher has to give certain marks uh, to the your uh, you have to upload in the portal and this uh, internal assessment also the cbse has told to keep the records digitally if you are having uh, conducting exam online or some any other form in google form or any other uh, method you are using then you have to then you have to keep those record maybe in google drive or electronically or google classroom you have to keep those 
records electronically some evidence you have to keep and cbse all also will send some questions for internal assessment also and for your term 1 exam also now if term 2 exam cbse couldn't conduct then it will give the weightage to term 1 if term 1 exam couldn't be conducted then term 2 exam will be given more weightage and if the situation is not very conducive at the time of term 2 examination then cbse will again conduct instead of theoretical exam again it will go for 90 minutes one and half hour a mcq test again so um, if not mcq if student normal classes will start then cbse will conduct the theoretical exam as it is and uh, uh, the important thing is that whole this procedures looks fine looks good but again the same thing right internal assessment will be taken and the marks will be students are at home so how fair the internal assessment that everyone knows so cbse is stressing upon those internal marks right because they know that in the next year if the situation is like this then uh, they do not have any evidences or anything to give the marks to the students this year they any house or somehow managed with uh, like class 12 students they had class 10 marks like this uh, they had somehow managed with 30 40 40 uh 30 30 40 uh, rule they managed now this year they will have to face more problem because the class 12 students who will appear next year they have studied class 11 and class 12 both the year in online right so they will face more problem two years in online they have been studying right so how much they have learned that uh known to cbse also now the thing is that all this structure assessment looks fine now the question about that cbse also discussing that gadget differential or the internet connectivity some students they do not have internet connect connectivity means connectivity and some students they have internet connectivity who are at present level they are little bit advanced means uh, advanced then the students who do not have internet connectivity now the government bharat net project that uh, was supposed to completed in 2019 the government is not take, couldn't complete that so this is how the government should have completed because the internet and the data are the new oil for the education you can say and if the situation will continue then we need the hybrid education like we have to go for online and offline both or some exams will be definitely on online some exams will be offline some classes will be online some classes will be offline so this type of situation will go on even up to the students come to school because many of the contents are during this pandemic they have shown nice content have built uh, by different organization even by cbse also so students are learning that content at their home better than their classroom even the classroom has definitely advantage the personal relationship and many other things are there but still many will follow after class 12 also correspondence course online education for different technical course they will go online so this online education will go on means it will improve it will it will never uh, go down right so cbse should and the government should look at the infrastructure development till now the schools government schools specially and most of the private schools in the uh, grade 2 cities or uh, second tier cities you can say internet connectivity is not good except jio 4g if imagine jio 4g was not uh, unlimited uh, like cases are not there what would have hap uh, happened to the online education number one number two is the gadgets all the students do not have the per perfect gadgets or laptops or smart mobiles so how this they will learn cbse is not thinking about that 
CBS is thinking about CBS is thinking about what will be the assessment structure. Right? I will have will assess them once they will learn something, right? Many students are not able to learn. Let us first find out how they will learn, right? So that infrastructure government should take action means it should ta have taken uh, action immediately one year passed right and it's clearly visible that this year also um, the classes when it will start nobody knows so the digital infrastructure every school should have been connected with uh, high speed internet at least the teacher can create some digital content and to send the, their students right and in every village every students how they will get good infrastructure data high speed net internet connectivity all this digital or means a laptop or a mobile how they will uh, means um, how they will get or procure or government will give them in subsidy loan like that if some some planning should have been done so neither the government or the cbc is thinking upon that only they are thinking upon assessment structure how the students will be asset, assessed one well, as they have not learned anything right they have learned very little many students are not able to learn that then how the, they will access, assess uh, um, assessment will be done right so the first priority of the government should that sh should provide the internet or provide the digital infrastructure to all the schools and the rural area rural areas where all the students should able to access to internet that should be the primary importance for now should have been and it should be because next also the students need internet to study it cannot be 100 percent offline in the next futures so i hope the government will understand this and the government will also and cbsc also will understand that how this assessment structure can be improved not only by this mcq type test and by other some assessment like some project based uh, uh, examination or survey based examination how things can be done okay like the vision of any NEP is project based but you are going for mcq type test so see how the difference so how the mcq questions will be filled most of the numerical questions so how the students will solve them right they require some analytical and solving skills right so you, you will conduct uh, examination you want to conduct an examination like NEET or uh, je like you don't want theoretical questions the concept is being like that so that anyone can produce create means uh, the result can be declared easily right so everything is fine but you should think upon the problems and certain issues of the students so how the students will learn that is the basic thing now or some alternate evaluation you start like give some them some projects they will do like a home based project they will do many examples are there can be done they should think upon that how this can be done instead of that you will impose them on mcq question without teaching anything online or some half of the students uh, joy are joining the classes then how they will give the exam that is a big question uh, let's see how things are working out hope for the best and all the best to the students who will appear class your to 2022 thank you for watching the video see you bye bye